A good investment relies on two factors, your outlook on the business and how long you plan to hold the stock. The first factor I can't help you with. Whatever you believe, maybe you love the CEO, maybe you just want to ride the hype train, maybe there's good news happening, or maybe you just think the company's logo looks cool. Whatever reason you may have, that's completely valid and I can almost guarantee you there's a lot of other investors thinking the same way. What I can help you with is a second factor. How long do you plan to hold the stock, otherwise known as the investment time horizon? For this stock, you'll fall into one of these three categories, short-term, near-term, and long-term investor. If you're a short-term investor, you should be looking at the stock's relative strength index. The closer the RSI is to zero, the more likely the stock has been beaten down in the past three weeks. Look for investors to pile back in swinging momentum back to the positive side. If you're a near-term investor, you should be looking at the SMA 50. The more negative that number, the more undervalued the stock is relative to its average stock price over the last 50 trading days. It's a sign that recent movements haven't beaten down the stock below that number. If you're a long-term investor, you should be looking at the SMA 200, similar to the SMA 50, but it looks at the price relative to its average over 200 trading days, which means the more negative that number, the more undervalued the stock over almost a year's worth of price action. Remember, you should always look for bargains. Invest wisely and as always, take care of your money.